Making a lock with an alphanumeric password is similar to making a passcode, which you can learn to do in my previous video. For this kind of lock, the player is going to be able to type in the password themselves. Go to the database and navigate to the Actors tab. Make a new actor listing and reserve it for passwords. This listing isn't ever going to be used for a character, it's just a dummy listing, so there's no need to add any further information. You could add a note tag or something similar to indicate to yourself or any other developers working on your files that this is for passwords. Make the event with the lock, which could be a door, a chest, or even a character asking for a secret passphrase. Add the name input processing event command on page 3, and select the dummy passcode actor to be renamed. The max number of characters can be whatever you like, as long as the player has enough characters to type the password. As the actor in the database has been given a dummy name, you can also use change name on page 1 just before this event command and set it to blank. This way, when the player types in the password, the default name won't appear in the slot anymore. After the name input, add a conditional branch. On page 2, select the password actor and click name. In this box, type what your password is supposed to be. You can also select create else branch if you want to play a series of events if the password is entered incorrectly. Don't forget that this password is case sensitive. In the if branch of the conditional, add the events that will happen if the password is successful. Don't forget to add a self switch to stop the player from being able to activate the events again. And this is how it functions in game. Thanks for watching.